right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, you've been giving your instructions in the dressing room protect yourself at all times follow my instructions you will have a clean fight touch gloves <laughs> So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. Oh! Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big hog punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he hurt him. He 
blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Again, back into this position. Just misses with a left hook there. Yeah, he's fixed it all up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Big kick lands. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. There's no give on that leg kick. Slips the punch. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has a oh, big knee. Oh. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. He loaded up on that right hand, too. things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Nice kick. Again, they clinch. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Oh, he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Back to the feet now. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fallen in love with that strike, but when you continue to land at this type of clip, why get away from it? Why not? Why not fall in love with a punch that can't miss? He cannot miss with this hook. He's doing a good job of setting it up, fading out his jab, and then throwing the hook around his opponent's high guard. Nice one-two there. Blocks the shot. Oh, he... No! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So, 100 minutes to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into his underhook. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, man. He put on the best poker face he could there. But he is just getting punished continuously by that hook. He is getting dominated with one singular strike. It's amazing to watch. Truly a great performance by this young fighter. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Great punch, man, with so much power. Final seconds here. Big body kick lane. Round two next. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that one. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. There with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. 
All right, so new round, same narrative as he continues to land that hook, and I'm just not sure how many more his opponent can take. His opponent will not be able to take many. In the previous round, he took a number of the same exact strikes, and now you can see it start to truly wear on. Oh! Oh, nice elbow. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. with the one-two. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Oh, that's a nice strike. You don't know when that leg gets something. Oh, big Superman punch there. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Such a fast leg kick. Well, DC, if you're a young striker, I would think watching this guy would give you a lot of tricks of the trade. Just beautiful to watch him work for those hooks. You watch him as a young fighter. You watch the little details to his striking, how he slips off the center line, and he returns with that beautiful hook. Over and over, he is finding that shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he caught the kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Oh! He's hooked. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. The ground and pound has been there all night. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Beautiful kick. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched glove. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. You're going the winner by knockout. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.